does it go from Alton to Selborne? So should we start in Alton? <laughs> How should we introduce it? Um, well, you should... You should say something. I have, well, and then, one thing I haven't done is thought, think of like a snappy name. Oh. Motor runs around Basingstoke. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to motor runs around <laughs> Basingstoke. <laughs> I think it has a vintage charm. So, I found this map in Marstone's Museum, which is a really good museum if you ever fancy going to Basingstoke. It was written by W.W. W. Weber Limited, and they had two shops, one in Basingstoke and one in Alton, which is now a quick fit. Kate and I decided that we wanted to try out some of the 1920s routes, so we picked Route 3 as included Alton, and I knew the route already. At least... I thought I did. <laughs> but the route was a bit vague. Uh, for instance, this bit where it says, go under the railway and then take the road numbers B3006. Where's the B3006? Exactly. So we decided to try not to use main roads, both to be more old fashioned and also so you could hear us talk while we were recording. The rules were no phones, only using local knowledge, the map that I'd bought and road signs. So Kate and I are going to follow this map and do some motor runs around Basingstoke. Yeah. Right, so I'm gonna... That sounds good. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start the car. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. I never really understand with the choke. It doesn't like it on for more than like 10 seconds. Here we go. Ready. Right, do we know where we're going? Um, we're going to Selborne. That's the one. <laughs> <coughs> so, it's quite steamy in here, isn't it? It is, yeah. Ooh. It's not raining anymore, though. No. Uh, so I have a cloth in there if, we need to, if I can't see. Okay, good. Nice bit of muslin. The woman owner driver, the complete guide for lady motorists. Well, in case I didn't know what I was doing. I'm disappointed you're not wearing that hat. Oh, I'll show it to the camera. I will have to find that hat. <laughs> I've just bumped into the pavement. Oh, excellent. Good, good start. Good, fine, good fine. start. And I'm going to bump into the grass now. Yay! <laughs> and off we go. Cool. So we're on our way to Selborne. Do you want to? talk about cars? Oh, I don't know. Do you talk about cars or do you want to talk about Selborne? Let's talk about cars. Okay. Do you have any questions about cars? Yes. Lots of questions about cars. Good. What's your car? Well, what are we in? What? Why am I not wearing a seatbelt? Because <laughs> <laughs> we're rebels. <laughs> so, um, this is a 1940s Morris. It was built in 1940. Um, it's a Morris it's 12 longer. Series 3. Nice. And the sit your door's open. Oh door's God! Open. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I really thought that was closed. Okay, no, it's right. closed now. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Sorry. It's okay. You're in a vintage car. They, no one could be crossing. No one cares. Oh look at the little windscreen wipers. So oh, can we show that? So my windscreen wipers are the most epic things in the world. They work. Wow. Well, touch wood. Touch wood. Touch wood. They're so tiny. I love them. They, you, they they work independently, my windscreen wipers. Oh my gosh! So I can just have one on if I want, or two, which I am at the moment, because it's weird to have one. <laughs> yeah, why would, yeah, why would you need one? <laughs> Sometimes I have one on because I can't get it to work. Uh, yeah, no. yes, it's a good reason. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Morris, this is a Morris 12.4, uh -huh. uh, Series 3, built in 1940. Um, they actually stopped officially making these in 1939 because uh, of the war. Weirdly uh -huh. enough, yeah. they had to make war things instead. Yeah. Um, but they did a short run of... is not war things. No, not really. Um, <laughs> imagine trying this in the battlefield. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the tanks. With the the tank. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're not war things. Um, I'm just trying to work out how to get to Selborne. We go to Selborne like, all the time. <laughs> I, I can check to, this. Um, I'm not sure the map is that much detail. <laughs> this very I'm detailed here to map. And hopefully that's nearby. To me, Foundon is in London. I know. So me too. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they made one of these uh, for the civil service in 1940 for civil servants to drive around in. I'm assuming. Um, we don't know what it was used for. Then in the 60s, this was finally brought into sort of the real world and got its number plates. But we nice. have no idea what happened to it in that sort of 20 years. 
Let's do that. Can you imagine what it could have been doing? All the I'm, places I'm it imagining went? it was sitting in a garage doing that. Oh. <laughs> do you have any other car related questions? Oh, yes. So many. Um, uh, why is your gear stick so long? Because uh, the gearbox is all the way over there, really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it does make it quite... Um, it rattles a lot. It's it does. Annoying. It's a little bit disconcerting, but it, and it's also, giving me a good also, you're not 100% certain what gear you're in. You're just like, that one? There, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> vaguely in that direction. Because I'm used to driving cars with fifth, five gears. Like, when I'm at this stage, where I'm going at like 35 miles an hour, I try and go into fifth gear. Yeah. And there's no fifth gear. Oh, shit. And yeah. um, I shouldn't do that. It's all right. I can be. <laughs> oh, look, they've got a new fence. Very they nice. had a massive break in they did. Oh god, so well, it's a very nice house. That's why they have fences now. Right. So I think Selborne's down here. Hopefully the Hopefully sign Hopefully the say. sign says Selborne. No, it doesn't. Okay. I don't think it's down there. Oh damn. <laughs> oh, um, we'll just keep going until we find something. So we how fast have you been in your car? So I have had it saying 70 miles an hour on the, the doodad, but Impressive. it's known as under reading by 10%. Ah. And, and it's actually, <laughs> when you read magazines from the 40s, it's a known problem that they've always done. And they still do Do you think that. it was just for their self esteem? <laughs> I think you're going Ollie, really fast. <laughs> I thought you were talking about my driving then. I'm not going really fast, I'm going to get 30. <laughs> it's 60 here, so I can. Yeah. Legally, obviously, when you're setting a speedo, it has to not overread underread rather because then um, people all speed uh, and then yes, they'll sue you because they'll be like i thought i was going yeah down, yeah enough. i'm with you yeah um so you they always generally make them underread a little bit okay um i know but it's 10 percent, so it like yeah, it's it, quite a lot. so like when you're going at 30 when you think you're going at 30 you're actually going at 27 yeah. you think you're going at 70 you're actually going at 63 yeah um yeah so it kind of gets bigger as you go faster yeah. But yeah. Oh, well, that's quite far. Down here with the wind behind me. Yeah, 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 nice. On the motorway, uphill down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 60, baby. And um, you told me lots of really technical things about sort of um, uh, how it's uh, not like a modern car oh in lots of ways uh yeah how is it different from I told the car you, i told you some really good Fiat. stuff before we recorded and it yeah. was beautiful it, it was well it was oh, yeah God. come on you can do it again um, <laughs> so um the main sort of differences between driving this and driving a modern car yeah are so steering there's no power steering yeah so you really you can only steer while moving if the car's standing still if you think about it you've got, kind of got to move the whole car yeah. with the steering wheel and it's just manual there's no extra power steering but that doesn't mean that you get really muscly arms no otherwise although my apple watch does think i'm doing a workout oh that's great oh wow but it also go. thinks i'm swimming when i'm plaiting my hair so <laughs> i don't know <laughs> that's great <laughs> um so yeah steering's a bit different the mm. brakes are a bit different this yeah. as a series three actually mm -hmm. the brakes um have some extra hydraulics in them which make them a lot easier to break and yeah. quicker to break although if i do an emergency stop Whoa. You get a nice uh, squeak. squeak. <laughs> That's actually quite a quiet squeak. It's it's bedded in at the moment. Um, when you first drive it down the road, it's really loud. Well, it's oh, good. Know. You know, it's loud. There's loads of cars. Oh, blimey. We're on a narrow country lane. We are. Cars. Right. Hello. Oh, like here we go. We're reversing in a Morris Minor. Actually, actually I'm going to go down. No, no. We're going to let us go. Well, he's already in a side thing, so I shouldn't have to go to yeah. the side thing because I'm in a Morris Minor. Though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bitch. I'll say thanks. I'll say thanks. Ooh, oh, they were friendly. Yeah, it's all good. Alton Pharmacy. Yeah. We like Alton Pharmacy. I've never been to Alton Pharmacy. I'm I sure bet it's nice. Yeah. yeah. So how else is it different from uh, from my dad's car? Uh, I don't know what car your dad's got. It's a Fiat. Yeah. Little um, Fiat. It's I think about it's this size, actually. <laughs> yeah, it might be. Yeah. Um, well, there's no seatbelts, as we've already yes, discussed. Yeah. Which yeah. always does your brain in. Yeah. Um, brakes, steering, gears. So, mm. the gears, other than the very, very long gear stick, um, you've also... Well, again, this is one of the modern cars of the 30, well, 30s, 40s. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to double the clutch. Yes, so, this is what we were talking mm, about. Go on. So, did my explanation work before at all? 
Well, I'm quite slow, so it might work for your intelligent audience. But I'm a bit of a simpleton. Basically, when you change gears, the engine has to change the speed. It does its revs. And on a modern car, the car works it out for you. On older cars, you have to rev the engine um, and get it to the right amount of revs in order mm. to change gears. This has some special things in it, basically some synchromesh, basically is what it's called, to make it easier to change gears. Synchromesh. Synchromesh. Um, it basically, instead of crashing it together and going, let's make it work, it, um, it helps you. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to get exactly the right revs, mm -hmm. which is the reason I haven't stalled yet, basically. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah, no stalling has happened at all. Right, I'm going to go onto the main road, but I think oh, it's probably better to do too much talking because we won't be able to hear it. We can't hear anything. That's okay. We'll Ooh. just. Ooh. That's me not doing gears right. <laughs> it's a good sound. Yeah, it's a good sound. <laughs> that, that might Someone have been alarming. Picked it up. <laughs> right, I'm pretty sure this chase out one is. I should have just gone back on the main road, but oh, I don't want my phone. Oh, we're going to sell them. Yeah, that would have been the clever option. We did plan to oh not use no! phones at all. We weren't going to use phones. Should uh, I put it away? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Let's not use. A f yeah. We're only. Oh, we're in Farringdon. That's where I tried not to go to before. Oh no. Oh. Well, it's the other side of Farringdon. And okay. Where Chawton is. Bulls for sale. <laughs> Do you want a bull? Should yeah. Should we go fit it in the boot? Yeah. Well, we could give it a go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine too. They're quite Horns scary. sticking out. Yeah, they are. Both. Me think. We're just going to get lost before we've even like started the We're route. We're just never going to find the route. <laughs> We're just going to drive around. <laughs> what was in Farringdon? Um, we nearly bought a house in Farringdon. Did you? But it was expensive and we didn't have any money. Oh. That's Upper Farringdon. I think that's the story of my life. So here, um, while I didn't track where we were, um, I'm pretty sure we're down here, which isn't really towards Selborne. We then turned left and went up towards Alton and this is the point where I realised that it wasn't going to work and that we needed to start in Alton because I could find that. Yeah we can only get to Selborne by the main road. That's where we're going now. We're on our way. <laughs> Roughly. So, what's the first instructions it has for Selborne? Oh, in here. Oh, yeah. Yes. So once we get okay. to Selborne, like how, which, what direction does it go from Alton to Selborne? So should we start in Alton? I don't know oh. where Alton is. Um, hang on, hang on, just one second. Pages ten, eleven. <coughs> yes. Basingstoke to Alton, then to Selborne. Okay. <coughs> so should we start in Alton? Yes. Oh no! No! <laughs> well, Everything is going awry. It's fine. Worry. Right, I'm going to park up in Alton. Okay. And then we're going to sort ourselves out. Okay. We go down <laughs> we ooh. Ooh, ooh, that's a tight camera. That's a tight corner. That's a tight corner. Ooh. And then now the camera. Why is the camera pointing straight at me? <laughs> why is it tight? Why? We'll tighten that up. It'll be fine. Uh, I, it's on the back. There we go. Park. Although I'm park not actually place? sure what we're looking at right now. No, never am I. I'm park here. Oh wait, this is a pavement. Is that a pavement? Look, that's, that's a pavement. Yeah, it's a no, pavement. Not a pavement. Yeah, it's a pavement. We're on a pavement. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a not a pavement. It does. Right. It does. Oh, I'll right. give you that. Parking at Alton Butts. Very Which good. Sounds rude, but it's not rude. No, because it's a butts. It's butts. We know that. We know that it's where you do ar 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 it arrows. <laughs> arrows, yeah, it's where you do your arrows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so in medieval times, um, men had to go every Sunday to practice their archery, and Alton Butts was one of those locations. Very good. Yeah, I know facts. I know facts. Nice bit of facts. facting there. Nothing sorry. to do with the rest of the video, though. So that's okay. I mean, yeah. this is about everything. This is just about life. And I'm not well, just mine goes eating right the microphone. We've just got to Alton. What does it say about Alton? Well, Alton, as you can see, is an old and attractive market town, an important road junction. An official guide is published by editors J. Burrow and Company Limited at six pennies. We couldn't find it. We, mm. we really did try. To, we, did we, try. We, we did try, but mm. six pence sounded like a good deal. Mm. Leading along Butts Road. That's here we that are. one over there. Oh, over oh is there? it this one? This I might don't be know. this one. I don't know. Well, we are at the Butts. 
that is the butt. When, when, it's one of these roads around this triangle of butts. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> um, the continuation of the high street. Ah, oh, well. Well, I maybe think, along there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think it's that one. Turn left after crossing under the railway and take the road numbered the B3006, which yep. might now be different. Mm -hmm. Straightforward run to Selborne. Right. Should we give it a go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's right, find yeah. out where we're going. Let's work. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Right, we're good, we're good, we're good. I think these people will mind if I uh, go into their driveway to turn around. No, so you're in a Morris Minor. Oh, Morris Minor? It's Morris 12. Thank you very much. Sorry! Morris Minor's <gasps> tiny. Oh, I'll show you some pictures of some Morris Minors. I think I've said that before as well. Yeah, You'll it. have to beep it out. <laughs> <laughs> or just put yourself. <laughs> you've sworn that yeah. it's just that Morris Or just put yourself it saying 12 over me. Morris saying 12. <laughs> yeah, Morris 12. <laughs> uh, oh, this is going to be a 17 point term, this is. Woo! Mm. Hey. Oh. As I said, you can't turn the steering wheel while you're still. Ah, wow, check this out. This so, is an absolute Olympic feat. Ooh. That was a great 17 point turn. Vroom! <laughs> okay, I feel like it probably is this route. Because that's going under the railway. Yes. I think it definitely is. Yeah. This is like the main road through Alton. Well, this isn't. The road we're about to turn onto is. Mm. Which means we'll probably never get onto it. <coughs> <coughs> oh, no, I thought he was letting me out, uh -oh. It's my life, this is. Oh, <laughs> someone let me out. Please. We're Please. in Morris 12. I'm in an old car. Morris 12. These things are hard. Life is hard. Morris 12. It's okay. No, nah, everyone's been kind. Oh, thanks. You did it. He wasn't going to let me in, but he had to because yeah. I'm in front of him. Next time on our travels through Basingstoke, Selborne.